We have a matchup to shake the foundations of the city. The Transformers were on every day at 4 p.m. when I was growing up. I'd rush home from school to watch what essentially were half-hour commercials for toys that my parents were never going to buy me. It was the titanic battle between the Autobots and the Decepticons that kept me coming back every day. And then the cartoon movie came out in 1986, and I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but Optimus Prime dies at the end. I know! I was crushed! How the... How the hell could they kill off Optimus Prime? You don't kill off a tween's hero in the middle of puberty. It fucks you up. (laughs) Now, here's a bit of advice for those of you who have fond memories of the Transformers. Don't go back and watch the old cartoon. I saw the 86 movie again. It was badly acted, boring, and poorly paced. What I had effectively done is systematically destroyed all the joyous memories of my childhood so now I can understand how miserable I really was. In 2007 and 2009, the Transformers made a comeback featuring prominently in two Megan Fox movies. Optimus is a master warrior who changes his body every three episodes. He's died and come back to life five times. For those of you keeping score, that's Optimus Prime 5, Jesus Christ 1. Draw your own conclusions. There is no question that he is a deadly warrior, but is he a match for... The coolest thing about Iron Man is the song by Black Sabbath. And unfortunately... The only thing it really has in common with Iron Man is the use of it in the new movies. <laughs> this is true. When Ozzy was writing this, when Ozzy came up with a song, uh, I want to do a song called uh, Iron Man. And they said, well, there's already a superhero called Iron Man. And he said, oh, well, let's write it about a villain instead. <laughs> That's British ingenuity for you. Iron Man has a lot working against him. Tony Stark, the creamy, fluffy nougat center of the Iron Man armor, is an egotistical douchebag of galactic proportion. (laughs) Now, some people will say that it adds depth to the character. I disagree. Being an egotistical douchebag adds depth to the character the same way Ewoks add depth to Jedi. Okay, here's a matchup for you. Ewok versus Combine Thresher. Oh, come on. You've thought about it. Don't, don't pretend you haven't. It'd just be... Yub, yub. (laughs) In his time, Tony Stark has been brain damaged, an alcoholic, a zombie, a paraplegic, composed entirely of neural tissue, insane and dead. None of which has stopped the Iron Man franchise. Tony Stark changes Iron Man suits as often as Paris Hilton says something stupid. He survived the test of time, but can he take on the magnificent modular mechanical menace? Or will Iron Man's incredible invulnerability insist on... Fuck, I'm out of I words. (laughs) Let's meet the geeks and nerds. (laughs) 